Hey, what's up, everybody? Let's talk about jealousy. Jealousy. The green monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's three things that we want to share in this video. Uh, we've been married for 28 years, mm -hmm. uh, happily married, uh, but we, we've had uh, our bouts with jealousy along the way. A little bit. And, mm -hmm. and uh, there's good jealousy and bad jealousy. We just don't want to talk about... This is a two-part video. Correct. Next week, we're going to do the next one. Yep. We're going to talk about bad jealousy today. Mm -hmm. Three things. What is jealousy? Where does it come from? What unhealthy jealousy does? and how to overcome dangerous jealousy. Just one tip that has worked for us. Number one, what is jealousy and where does it come from? If we were going to define it, which one, how would you define it? Um, I would summarize it as the fear of being replaced. That would be the summary of okay. it. Uh, but I guess a more technical definition would be feelings of insecurity and mistrust that tend to produce a need to control. All right. So um, in our 28 years of marriage, have you ever had uh, feelings of being replaced is has that ever happened to you uh, because you're you're as close to a perfect wife as I can imagine what uh, has, there, has that ever happened to you just spell it out for for so, the people so I think Roger can agree that I've never really been a jealous person jealousy it's a great is, thing it's not a thing that I really feel it's a gift from heaven sometimes Roger <laughs> tries to make me jealous Ooh, you're jealous right I'm like no I'm really not jealous but <laughs> But um, there was one time that I have to honestly say that I was jealous. And it was a, a time that Roger, uh, well, it, it was with my daughter. First of all, let me start out saying that it had to be with my daughter. She doesn't know this. It's probably the first time she's ever going to hear daughter, this. daughter, Vanessa. Vanessa, yes, three correct. Daughters. My daughter, my youngest daughter, Vanessa. Um, she, uh, as she was getting older, she was the... Uh, she would melt her daddy's heart. All she had to do was walk into the room and bat her, her super long eyelashes and say, Daddy, please. And she, he would, everything she wanted, you know, she would almost get. And so I started feeling like a little jealous about that. Mercy. I started saying, hey, what's going on? She gets everything she wants. And, you know, I'm, I have to tell you. And you're like, nope, don't think so. I don't have money. And you, for Vanessa, there's always a way. So I started feeling jealousy, but I didn't realize actually that I was being jealous. It wasn't until Roger one day, jokingly, if you know my husband, he jokes quite a bit. But one day in a joke, he's like, what, are you jealous of your daughter? Ha ha ha. And then I was like, I got a little defensive. I thought it took back and I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't want to admit to it, but that was the first time I realized yeah. he was yeah. right. So even in a joke is when I realized it. That was the first time. How about you, Roger? Have you I've never, never been jealous, jealous never? Uh, of <laughs> the first time I remember being jealous is one time we were watching late night TV. Okay. Uh, and there was a, <laughs> there was a guest, I think it was Johnny Carson, some, somebody uh, on late night TV and uh, Mel Gibson came on and you were like, man, that's a good looking man. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, so th this fear of being replaced, right? That can that can that can that can fuel uh, your feelings of insecurities and mistrust that you, that, that, that you want to control things, right? Yeah. Uh, what does unhealthy jealousy do? I think it affects us in two ways. Correct. It affects us relationally, uh -huh. and uh, also it affects us physically. Physically, it affects us because the human body cannot distinguish between perceived danger uh -huh. and real danger, right? If you're walking in a place at night, there's a bad area. You know, there's been some some murders in the area. You've heard, uh, you know, people getting mugged, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. And you're walking, and then you hear two o'clock in the morning, and mm -hmm. you hear a sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind you, uh -huh. your body immediately. Correct. It just yeah. like your hair, like this little hair, it stands up. Mm, and your heart starts to beat really fast. Palpitations, yeah. anxiety. Yeah. Yeah, my hands sweat when I get nervous or scared. I get like my my hands sweat. My my mouth dries. That's okay. what happens. So yeah. so you you can't really tell if it's until you turn around. Yeah, you don't know if who's behind you. Yeah, if it's yeah. a chupacabra or, or it's like somebody who's actually a, actual, cat. a cat yeah. or because cats are evil, they're not going to heaven. <laughs> um, it, so you have no idea. So when you're jealous, uh -huh. right, and you and you foster those feelings of jealousy, uh -huh. it affects you physically. It can right. ha it can give you heart palpitations. It can give you anxiety. Um, you know, st stomach like, issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't eat right. You can't mm -hmm. concentrate. It affects you. It actually, has a physical effect. It also affects you relationally. Correct. So and relationally, what ends up happening is you start comparing yourself with people. Maybe people you never thought to compare yourself to, but you have this sense of, you know, that you're not as good uh, as, and that person's got something that's better. Remember, it's the fear of being replaced. What do they have that you don't have, right? So you start comparing yourself. The other thing is you start mistreating people for no reason mm -hmm. uh, because it's like you've got a, there's something between, there's a, something that's putting uh, like a wall between you and them. 
-hmm. So you start treating other people uh, for, you know, for no reason. Uh, the, the relationship that maybe once was a good one can start friction. Um, you start to doubt. You start to question. Um, you can mistreat people. You can be short. So it affects relationally in so many mm -hmm. ways. Um, and, you know, you send a very clear message of mistrust. Yeah, like I don't trust you. And it's really hard to build something when the base of is, listen, I don't trust you. Let's see if we can get along. It's, it's just not it's really, really going anywhere. Correct. All right. And our last thing is this is something that we found helpful, not just in the area of jealousy, but in all the negative thought patterns, right? Yeah. Uh, because we have this accusing judge in our minds who's always telling all, all the worst things that could happen. Um, and we have to really control that that guy or that person that's in there that's telling us that yeah. we're not worthy, that somebody's going to replace us. Correct. Uh, and and this is, we find a, a passage in Scripture very helpful for this. It's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5 says, We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and take captive every thought. So the, the concept of this passage is one of a fortress, uh -huh. right? And okay. taking it captive and not and and overcoming this fortress. And if we don't, if we're not careful, our thoughts can become a fortress mm -hmm. where you start building up and yeah, up yeah, and up. Yeah. And the Bible says, "Don't let it become a fortress." Wow! As soon as you start thinking yes. about these things, yes, 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 take me. that's the moment. Correct. Take control it. Take it captive. Use the principle of replacement, yes. where you replace those negative thoughts. We're talking about bad jealousy now, Correct. right? Yeah, bad jealousy. Because yes. next week, in the next video, we're going to have some things that we can do exactly. to protect yes, our yes, marriages. Yes. And in 20, 20 years, we, we found some good practical things that are going to eliminate the bad jealousy. There are some times that we might be... In, um, Correct, correct in assuming yeah, some yeah. things of the other person is doing but we're right. talking about bad jealousy today so yes. this concept of of taking captive every thought don't allow yes. those thoughts to fester mm. and run this is what happened to you right correct this yes is, yeah i took that i i started but that's i didn't sit on that the moment i realized i was having these feelings i was like okay, I, I need to confront this i don't want this to grow i don't want this to become an issue between my daughter and i so i said i you know i i first of all i brought it before god and I kind of put myself in check, like, hey, you know, is there is there any base for this? And of course, you know, there really was no base for this. Mm -hmm. So, but I but I wanted to just share my feelings with you, and which I did. I came to you, I shared my feelings with you, I was open, and I appreciated how you listened, and you took that in, and you helped me dissolve that, what could have turned out to be, a, you know, really bad green monster of jealousy, within, you know, with my relationship with my daughter. All right, in our next video, we're going to share uh, three tips that we've done to build and protect our marriage. Uh -huh. So look for it next week. May you be blessed. And don't allow the green monster to take over your relationships.